Today, I'm going to show you how to level a floor using just a level and some screws. My name's Derek. This is my wife, Jenny. We bought a fixer-upper. We're remodeling this house one day at a time, all while living in it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to get all the latest videos to track our progress. You'll find lots of how-to videos with step-by-step -step instructions to help you with your next do-it-yourself project. Welcome to the Rundown Reborn channel. I've got to level a floor. I started in the other room at the highest point that I could find and worked my way across that room. And at this point, I've got close to probably an inch, maybe an inch and a half buildup I've got to make up into this room. Where this sheet is, that's an opening into this next room, which is a dining room. And I'm going to bring this floor on through here and keep it level all the way throughout this living room. This whole house is crooked. There's been settlement. The corners have settled. It's very uneven. So we're going to fix that with just some screws in my drill and this level. First thing I need to do is bring this panel up. I fortunately had to do some work underneath and so I can go ahead and lift this panel up and determine where the joists are. If you don't have the privilege of doing something like that, there's a couple things you can do. You can remove a floorboard to identify exactly where the floor joists are, or many of the floorboards will have seams, and usually those seams occur at a joist. I'm gonna do it the easy way. I'm gonna lift this panel up, find out where the joists are. All right, so I'm down here in the crawl space. I've got this piece of floor deck up, and I've got a piece of my kid's sidewalk chalk. I'm basically gonna mark where the center of these joists are, on this floor. These are the existing joists. Now, take my tape measure and see what the spacing is. They're somewhat consistently spaced at 16 inches. This last one here, right, however, is a little extra. I'm not going to go ahead and pull up the other board. I think we can figure it out from there. So now, I'll seal this floor up, get it screwed down tight, and start working on leveling basically wanting to identify where these joist lines are on this floor and I want to lay it out with chalk so I'm just going to mark on the floor with this chalk where these joists are going to be it's not an exact science but we got a general idea where these joists are so I can hit them with a screw later here's my existing floorboards here's my new subfloor what I want to do is now identify where my ribs are. Then once those ribs are on, or those sleepers, then we'll lay new deck on top of that and screw down into those blocks of wood. So to begin, I'm gonna take my level here. I've got my drill, and I got me a box of long screws. Now what I want, I wanna to go to the bottom of my floor deck where the blocking is. Most of these long levels will have a gauge that you can read from the top. And I'm going to go right here and bring out my baseline. And what I'm going to do is start a screw here within the reach of my level. Just like so. And I want to take this level and keep working that screw down until my bubble is in the center. Just a little more. There. The top of that screw is exactly level with the top of this floor over here. So I can work from this screw now onto another screw anywhere on the floor. And I'm going to triangulate and check all those screws with one another in their immediate vicinity. Once you have all these screws located, we'll be ready to lay strips. Now before I start laying out a whole bunch of screws, I want to identify where my boards are going to be. In this case, my room's about 14 by 16 approximately, and so I'm going to need approximately eight sheets of this floor deck. So what I need to do is identify where my first seam is going to be. These sheets are tongue and groove. We want those sheets to run perpendicular to the floor joists, which means all my sleepers are going to run across these floor joists. We'll use the sleepers that we attach to the original floor as our screw strips to attach the floor deck onto. 
All right, I've laid my tape measure out here across the floor. I know my first joint's at about 48 inches. So I'm gonna use a different colored piece of chalk and mark that point. Then I'm gonna put my sleepers at 16 inches on center. So every 16 inches from that first seam, I'm gonna put a mark. I can use the seams of my original floorboards as a guide to run a line across this floor. If you don't have that luxury, you can always take additional measurements and connect the dot. I'm gonna set my level up as a straight edge. I'm gonna run a line down this, and that's where I'm gonna put a sleeper. Now we've got a few of those laid out, and I've got a grid here. My orange lines are where my sleepers are gonna be, my green lines are where the joists are. So that where those intersect, that's where a potential screw is going to, get to go down the road. Here's my first screw right here. Using my chalk, I like to draw a little circle around it because they're really hard to see when you're walking through here. And you step on them, you'll end up bending them and wreck the level point. I'll need one adjacent here on this spot right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a new screw in there. Drive it down approximately the same distance. Check it for level. Oh, nailed it on first try. That will be a new screw that we use as a benchmark. And from that screw, we'll go on to a next one. I'll go right here. Now I'll take this level and connect the dots of my existing ones. Bubbles in the middle. Now I can do another screw back in here, keep working my way across the floor, and we'll start to lay out this whole grid of screws. So this screw sits almost inch and a half. This one, just slightly higher. This one, an eighth of an inch lower. So you can see how uneven the floor is as we go. By the time I get all these screws laid out, and we'll have a perfectly level floor. You can really see now, as I've worked my way across this floor, the screw depths are varying quite a bit. I've got over an inch and a half back behind me, and here, in this part of the floor, not even a quarter of an inch. Now that makes some sense to me because that part of the house has settled dramatically out there on the edge. It does make sense that there's some fall off towards the porch. I'm gonna keep on going across the floor and keep getting this floor level. So as you can see here, I've got a nice grid of screws laid out. In this area, I'm almost down to the floor. The highest point's probably over in this area towards the front of the house. Whenever I do a screw, I check that level in as many directions as I can. So I'm trying to basically create kind of a, a spider web of screws from any given point to verify that we're, we're level as we go across the floor. So everything's looking good so far. I've got about half the floor marked out. Just need to finish this out and then we'll start ripping those sleepers. All right, I've laid out quite a bit of these screws. I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping some of the boards now. Over here in this corner, you'll notice that I don't have a couple of screws around the perimeter. I, those are considered level points. The actual floor slopes up to those points. I mark those with an X, meaning that I want to put the deck directly on the surface of the floor there. So I'm tapering from a zero level all the way to this side, which is almost an inch and a half. To do that now, what I'm doing is I have a long two by four. This one's a 12 footer. This should do the whole stretch here in this spot. So the first thing I need to do is determine how much depth I need here. Sometimes you can just push these down to the floor and you can take a measurement that way. But in this case, it's this board's just too stiff. So I'm gonna do it with my tape measure here. I'm measuring there at one and seven sixteenths. So I'm gonna mark that on the side of the board here at one and seven sixteenths. 
and I circle those so I can find them. I've got the board in the position that I actually want to put it once I put it on the floor. This screw measures right at one and a half, so we've got a sixteenth inch of drop there. So I'm going to mark this one at one and a half. Now I'll go to this side. Here at this screw, I've got about three quarter of an inch. On this end, I'm going to try to basically mark where the top of this surface is, which is the bottom of this deck here that I'm tying into. To do that, we'll set this square up on the floor, try to get it as level as possible, and transfer a mark to the two by on the end here. And now I've got my marks on the board. I've got one right here, got another one right here. So I'm gonna take my level as a straight edge and just lay that across the marks like so and connect the dots. I'm gonna do that for all the points on this board. Now I've got to line down this board and that's basically the bottom surface. Then this flat surface will be my top later. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip down the center of this board right against this line, and then we'll screw it down. I went and picked me up a brand new saw. It's a little four inch handheld saw. I was using a jigsaw for this job. It got the job done, but it was really slow to cut, and you just I just go through blades like you wouldn't believe. I think this is the right tool for the job. It's a four inch blade. It'll cut right through this stud. It cuts up to two inches deep, and my stud's only an inch and a half thick. So it's nice and lightweight, and can't wait to try it out. I've got my board set up here I'm using my step ladder as a makeshift sawhorse. I'm setting the other end on my table there. Go ahead and give this a try. working a lot better than a jigsaw. It's only a five amp motor, so it feels a little underpowered for this. They do sell bigger motors on these. I bought the cheapest one there was. Uh, I think this one was about $40. It's gonna be just fine. I'm not gonna use it every day. I'm gonna use it once in a while. And so if it doesn't hold up in the long run, I'm only out 40 bucks. All right, I've got this board ripped, and it's basically a big, long wedge. I placed it into position. It's running from one end of the floor to the other, following along that screw line that I put down. You'll see there, as I lay the level on top, it's perfectly level. So I'm really happy with the way this one looks. Now it's time to go ahead and screw it down. So I've got this into position. I'm going to just use the same screws that I used to level with. I'm going to remove those out of the floor. Now I'm going to slide that board and center it right on the line I marked with chalk earlier. This line is basically four feet from the wall. This will be the board that the two pieces of decking come together at. Position that onto the line and screw it right down to the joists. These impact drills are wonderful for this. I'm using really long screws for this. I want them to go all the way through this board, through the deck, and into the joist. I'm going to put a screw at every single joist. All right, I've got it secured to the floor. All the screws are in. I put a screw on every joist line and it's perfectly tied in. This will then be our screwing strip for the floor decking later. Double check it. Looks great, perfectly level. All right, only about 
10, 15 more to go. Well, I've pretty much got this floor done. I've got all the boards laid out. Now, on the uh, every fourth board, you're gonna want to space those about 47 and a half inches. The sheet of decking is 48 inches, including the tongue, so the seam's actually gonna be at 47 and a half inches, so you want that spacer right on that joint. Otherwise, I've got them tapered off. I didn't really need to extend them all the way to the other wall as it leveled out about three-fourths of the way across the room. The one corner is slightly high. I'm not going to lower the floor, but I'm not trying to get it absolutely perfectly level, just close. I mean, I've got over an inch and a half of fall over here in the corner and maybe about a quarter inch of rise in the other corner. Now that these ribs are laid out and the sleepers are in place, at this point you can put a level pretty much anywhere on the floor and you get a level reading. And that's the idea, that's the goal. The next step is to lay that decking on top of it, screw it down, have a nice level floor. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.